welcome to Create the Rashes channel. Today we are going to read the book, Why? This book is full of amazing facts, but this is not a question book that you have to answer for questions. This has full of amazing facts. So, today we are going to read part 66, chapter 2. And if you are new watching my channel, please like, share and subscribe. So, this is the book I liked. It's The book name is Why. You might be shocked, but this is not a question book. It is a book, Answers to Everything. It has, Why do I have thumbs? Why were pyramids so popular in the ancient world? Why do animals play? Why do gliders stay in the sky? Why do astronomers stay say the universe begin with a bang? Why do I need to eat? And many other like that. But this is a very tricky question for you. Why answers to everything? Why answers to everything? You have to give me the answer in the in the comment section if i will give you the correct answer in my next video of why so let's get set and go read chapter 2 part 66 and here i'm not gonna go in order i will go to the page which is easy for you to learn I will start with 66 part, chapter 2. So our topic now is seeing green. Seeing green. So in seeing green chapter, our topic is why are leaves green? That's a head-scratching question. Why are leaves green? Let's read. Let me take my book and go. The green color in leaves and blades of grass come from a pigment called chlorophyll, which absorbs sunlight during photosynthesis. One of the most important natural process on earth. During photosynthesis, plants and trees use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide in the air and water into water into energy, rich sugars for food. That's why leaves are at their most lush and greenest during the summer months. The longer sunlight hours kick photosynthesis into overdrive. One bonus product of the process is oxygen which is essential for life. In other words, most life on earth is solar powered. Wait, most of most life is solar powered? But not all of it. Nope, in the late 90s, 90s, 70s, scientists, scientists, Studying, studying the seafloor, discovered gases belching a boiling mineral rich stew into the crushing depths of the ocean. The hydrothermal vents didn't just look like they were from outer space. They were actually teeming with alien life. Here 
in the constant darkness darkness bacteria convert chemicals into sugars in a process called chemosynthesis shrimp crabs and eyeless tube worms survive by feeding on this bacteria creating a food chain completely independent of the sun astrobiologists scientists who study the possibility of life on other pla- on planets examine the vents for examples of life that might exist on planets far from the sun in fact they wonder if life on earth began near this gas as ra- rather than on the surface so this was about the chapter seeing green the next part the part 67 will finish in my next video and in the next video the you will get the answer about why answers to everything so why was interesting please like share and subscribe do not forget to answer the question why answers to everything you have to answer the question in the comments i repeat the question why answers to everything please like share and subscribe